Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and I'm with Modus Create. And in today's video, we're covering Epics and Jira. You're gonna to wanna to stick around because we're covering all the important questions here today. What are Epics and Jira? What features do Epics offer? And what are the best practices for using Epics to get the most out of your work in Jira software? All right, let's dive in. So what is an Epic anyway? If you didn't already know, Epics come from the agile software development industry. Epics are kind of basically a group of work, a group of tasks, or something that you want to accomplish that can be broken down into smaller tasks. That's really it. In Jira, Epics are represented by a specific or special issue type. Just like tasks or stories, this epic is an issue type with summary and description, possibly assignees and due dates, and any other fields that you want to assign to the epic. But what the epic does is acts as a parent or container for other issues like stories and tasks that can also act as a container for subtasks, creating the native three-level issue hierarchy in Jira, being epic, story, or task, and subtask. To introduce you to epics, let's just jump on in and create one. Just like you would if you were going to create a story or a task, you can start up here at the Create button. Just make sure you're picking the project that you want, and then select Epic from the issue type list. You'll need to provide an Epic name, which is a brief description or a title for the Epic. There's some more fields here available if we'd like to use those. But once we've completed the list as we like it, we can simply click Create. And we can see up here on the right, the notification tells us where our, we can pull up our new Epic. And here we are, just like you would see in a regular issue, like a story or a task. You can see our fields, our summary, our description. And a new feature here is you can see Create Issue and Epic. So this makes it really easy to now that we have our Epic to start planning out our work. I can do all of this with just using the keyboard. Which is great. Next up, we're going to cover the three primary Epic features in Jira. Number one, Epic Roadmaps. So to look at the roadmap, you just go to our project and pull up the roadmap screen. And you can see here that this lays out all of the open Epics or all of our Epics in the project on a roadmap. You can also see that it has the ability to expand and see the stories or tasks within each of these Epics. You also have the ability to use the mouse to click into the roadmap here and just drag and drop dates really easily. You can also open up the details in the sidebar and to view or to update our dates here. Epic feature number two is the Epic panel in the backlog. Trying to manage your work in the backlog is a great use case for Epics. So when you're looking at your backlog like we are here in our sprint board, you can expand the Epic side panel by clicking the Epic link there. And you can see the, all of the open Epics in our project. And if we select one, you can see that it automatically filters the issues in our backlog or the stories that belong inside of this Epic. This is great for helping make sense of things and organize our work. You can also drop down here in the Epic panel to see more details. And you can even open up the Epic from this link here. Another couple other features if we go back to the backlog is that I can create issues directly from here that will remain in our selected Epic. And if I decide that I want to move this to a different Epic, I can move it over and drag and drop that just like that. And the third epic feature to help you track the progress and deliver against those epics are Kanban visualization. In our sprint board, if we go to the active sprints, you can see here like a couple of things. One, I've set up epic swim lanes. What that does is it groups the stories or tasks on the board into rows based on what epic they belong to. So I can easily see the stories and things that are going on as for each epic and what status that are in. This is great for trying to report or get understanding of where you are in delivering against those promised features. You can also see that on the board, 
that each card has a highlighted epic link field to distinguish which issues belong to which epic. Because then if I navigate to take away the swim lanes based on the epic, you still have a good understanding looking at the board, which issues belong to which epic, which again, just makes planning and tracking easier for you and your team. All right, now that we know what epics are and what features they offer in Jira, let's jump into the pro tips for using epics in Jira to get the most out of the application. Pro tip number one, create a shared understanding of epics in your team or organization. Successful organizations using Jira make epics one of the centerpieces of planning and tracking their work. And it's important that all of the teams using the tool have a shared understanding or a shared definition of what an epic is and how to plan their work. What is the epic workflow? How many stories should an epic have? How long should an epic take? It's important that everybody in your organization using Jira and building epics should be able to answer this question in the same way. Which leads to pro tip number two. In your projects, epics have the ability to be customized, to have different features, different workflows, different fields. Use these features to simplify and optimize the process for planning and tracking your epics. Some recommendations here would be to create probably a very simple epic workflow to start out with. Maybe to do in progress and done is plenty specific, especially if you have a dedicated workflow for stories and bugs and tasks. Number two would be to define fields or refine what fields you're using such that it isn't complicated to create an epic. Really question what data points you're going to add to the screen. Pro tip number three, and probably the most important pro tip today, is every epic should have a scope. Another way of thinking about this is that every epic should have a start date and an end date. The most common mistake that we see teams make is they get into Jira, they start getting comfortable using epics, and then they just create epics for anything they can think of. Because it's really easy and great to use the, the backlog and the epic panel in the backlog to categorize your work and filter. But here's the problem. When you don't create scopes and you have epics that never end, your system will get cluttered and junky and that epic backlog those epics will get so long that it really kind of reduces the utility of the tool itself not only that but it really kind of creates a poor user experience especially for teams or for users joining your team for the first time if you find yourself wanting to create categories of work that doesn't have a certain end date i'd highly recommend considering using components and if you haven't already checked it out go ahead and check out our epic 101 video and get the details on the best ways to use components in Jira. Okay, that does it for today and our covering of Epics in Jira. I hope you all learned something today. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel to get notified of when we put out new content. Otherwise, thanks for watching and see you next time.